Welcome to the comic book shop of doom. I'm your host. This video is not for children. So if you're under 13, get your parents permission to watch this video. I don't need a $40,000 fine from YouTube, the government or Copa. I try to keep it clean, but there's sometimes something slips. So if anything, have mom and dad watch it with you. You may learn something, ask them questions, but get their permission to watch this video. Okay, here's your nightly news for Saturday, June 20th, 2020. We have two major deaths. R.I.P. to Ian Holm, 88. He was Bilbo Baggins in the um, Lord of the Rings movies. And then he was in the original 1979 Alien movie. And he's done various parts and different movies and stuff. He was in Time Bandits. So he had Parkinson's disease. So condolences to his friends and family. And R.I.P. to Alan Mettler, 77. He was a movie director. He gave us the 1987, or actually 1986, Rodney Dangerfield movie, Back to School. And then he did the movie Girls Just Want to Have Fun, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker early movie. So uh, two condolences to his friends and family, too. So he was 77 years old. Uh DC's direct distribution now, okay, for their uh, statues and toys and stuff. They're going to go through Entertainment Earth, Sideshow Collectibles, UCS, and Lunar Distribution, effective immediately. So those four companies are going to handle their statues and toys and stuff like that. Okay, if you have a comic book shop, the Paycheck Protection Plan from the government is still going. You they have $100 billion in a fund. you got to get the cutoff date for this, though, is June 30th. So if your business was affected because of the coronavirus, you could get some money out of this. But you got to look it up online. Paycheck Protection Plan. you got to file everything before June 30th. So if you have a comic book shop or any kind of business that was affected by the coronavirus, put in. You might get some money from the government to help you out. Okay, the Eisner Awards were, the voting was temporarily shut down due to a website anomaly, so they haven't said what that is. Marvel is teasing a member of the Fantastic Four falls in the Empire crossover. So they already got, they got the FF back, and now they're going to kill somebody off. Black Captain America coming to the MCU, so they're going to have um, Sam Wilson, the Falcon, they're going to actually call him Captain America. He's going to have a different costume in the shield. Okay, Halloween Nano Force figures are coming. Basically, you remember the little green army guys that were just molded figures? Well, they're going to do that with Halloween themed figures by MC Toys and Fright Rags. So, those are the two companies teaming up to make those. Um, so, they're going to make like a pack of like 15 different figures. And you buy them, and there's all the different ones in there, but it's going to be the Michael Myers Halloween theme ones. Okay, Deep Blue Sea 3, going direct to digital July 28th, and Blu-ray August 25th. Swan Princess, A Royal Wedding, coming August 4th, 2020. This is the 10th animated movie in that series. Okay, DC has removed... A Warren Ellis dinosaur Batman story from Death Metal. He was one that was accused the other day of um, sexual harassment and abuse to uh, underage girls and keeping a harem of women and stuff. So this has been going on in wrestling, but it also hit some of the mainstream people. And, uh, and the coincidence is a lot of English people now, like the UK is getting hit with this. Okay, Star Wars Adventures number one is being relaunched in September from IEW. In wrestling news, okay, Dolph Ziggler is going to Raw, so they're trading him off. The Forgotten Sons are being replaced in their feud with the New Day because of pro-Trump comments. So there's no more free speech in America. Even though Vince McMahon is a Trump fan, he let the rest of his roster dictate what he's got to do. WWE has issued a no-tolerance policy for all the sexual harassment and abuse that's been going on with the speaking out, the hashtag speaking out movement. And in that, 
out of the results for that, Dave Lagana has resigned from the NWA because he was accused by a woman named Liz Savage. Jimmy Havoc from AEW is in rehab. So he was accused of stuff, and he's in rehab for substance abuse problems. And WWE has released Jack Gallagher. He was accused by at least two different women of stuff. Rape in one case, and, you know, so a lot of this is he said, she said. Who knows if it's true or not? I did a video on it, so check the YouTube page or go to comicbookshopadoom.proboards.com. And there where I'm talking about wrestling, comic books, and movies. I did a video on the hashtag speaking out movement. So I got all the people. There was like, there's been at least 75 people that have been named as sex, potential sex abusers. I say potential because we don't know if any of it's true yet. People have been accused, but we haven't had proof yet. So go there. There's at least 29 people that are in that video that have been named. So it's kind of shocking stuff, you know, and it happened quick, real quick. And like I said, the mainstream sites, very slow to report this stuff. So either they're afraid of getting sued or they're buddies with these guys and don't want to make their friends look bad. Everybody have a good day.